Hello everyone, this time in different content, I will explain some details, profiles, events and all about Donghua, which I will discuss this time is Battle Through the Heaven. Starting from the main character first, where it will be very long, about this, Zhao Yan, in detail, and of course if there is a wrong translation or wrong information, please correct it and according to the explanation in the comments column. And let's start. For first, Xiao Yan is the protagonist of Battle Through the Heavens. During his childhood, he was recognized as a genius, but since then, he has been referred to as trash. Yao Lao, who resided in the ring his mother gave to him before she died, took him as a disciple and helped him reach the highest level of cultivation in his world. He then later sets out on a journey to become stronger. At the start, his objective was solely to defeat Nalan Yanren, but his final goal has risen much higher, as his enemies are at the top of the food chain, and he realizes he will have to surpass them. He aims to reach the highest rank, Du Di Battle God. That's the synopsis or the beginning of Zhao Yan's journey. For Zhao Yan's profile and data, you can see it on the screen. But for those who want to skip this part because it is not too important, just go straight to the other explanation section. Where it starts from Chinese, Pinyin, Titles, aka, and Status. Media, Light Novel, Chapter 1, Genius No More, Manhua, Chapter 1, Donghua, Season 1 Remake Episode 1, or, Season 1 Episode 1, Voice actor by Liu Sanmu, Donghua Season 1, Season 2, OVA 1, Zhang Pei, Donghua Season 3, Season 4, OVA 3, Three Year Agreement, OVA 4, Season 5, Bi, Donghua Season 5, Koi, Anime Manga Series, Leo Wu, Drama, Su Shang King, TV Drama, Origin, Continent, Duki Continent, Region, Northwestern Region, Empire, Jiama Empire, City, Wutan City. Physical description, species, human, age, 15 start, 46 end, gender, male icon male, height, 198 centimeters, weight, 68 kilograms, hair color, black light novel, eye color, pitch black light novel, bloodline, Zhao clan bloodline, Du Di bloodline, physique, 3000 star constitution, Flame D body. Cultivation. Do rank. Do Z key start. Do DN. The great ruler TGR final spoiler. Alchemist rank. Tier D. Spiritual state. D state. Elemental affinity. Fire domain. And wood. Key method. Flame mantra. Secret techniques. Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Zhao clan tattoo. Extermination Fire Body Heavenly Flames Emperor Flame Merger All 20 to Heavenly Flames Status and Occupation Zhao Sect Leader Zhao Clan Head Alchemist Ninth Soul D State Tier Alchemist Pan's Gate The Leader and Founder Student at Jianan Academy Champion at Pill Tower Grand Pill Competition Junior Sect Leader at Falling Star Pavilion Elder at Small Pill Tower Junior Chief or Chief or Spiritual Leader of Sky Mansion Alliance Overlord of the whole Duki Continent As he became a Dudi and was already stronger than any other Dudi Affiliation Xiao Clan Jia Ma Empire Alchemist Association Jia Nan Academy Pan's Gate Xiao Gate Yan Alliance Falling Star Pavilion Sky Mansion Alliance Appearance Xiao Yan has a delicate appearance, with a lazy smile on his face. His lacquered black eyes sparkle with a brilliant luster, making him appear exceptionally gentle and profound. On its forehead, there is a flame mark, presenting many brilliant colors. Dressed in black, with a slender body and a free-spirited demeanor, carrying a large black ruler diagonally on his back. 
On the surface of its body, brilliant flames are burning. And from a distance, it looks like a flame god who controls the flames, full of inexplicable pressure. Same as his light novel counterpart in Donghua, he is a handsome young man with black hair. Etymology Shio means flute, the edges of a bow. Yan means flames. Background Here is a summary of the background story from Season 1 and the remake of Origin Season 1, for those who don't know. He wasn't a person from this world. More accurately, his soul wasn't from this world. He was from a deep blue star called Earth. As for unexplainable mystery of why he would be here, he himself had no clue. However, after living here for some time, he slowly realized, he passed through to the other side. In his past life, Zhao Yan was a mediocre, average commoner. Wealth, fame and beauty seemed to run parallel to his life, never intersecting it. Then, when he came to this continent, Zhao Yan was shocked. Because of a second set of experiences, his spirit became much stronger than the average person. Novel Chapter 2 Xiao Yan is someone who reincarnated from Earth. In the Duki continent, Xiao Yan was born as the third son of the clan leader, Zhao Zan. Xiao Yan is a genius who is considered by the people in his clan and town. At four, he started practicing, and at ten, he achieved the ninth stage of Du Ziqi. At eleven, he broke the tenth stage Du Ziqi barrier and successfully condensed his Du Ziqi Zhu. He has become the youngest Duji in the clan for the past 100 years. Unfortunately, his label was soon stolen from him as all the Duzi Ki he absorbed seemed to be completely gone. He dropped to Duzi Ki, third stage. From the position of a genius, he fell below the average person in one night. He had no clue what happened to his body and felt depressed. He was arranged to marry Nalan Yanren before he was born, as their grandfathers were very good friends. However, Nalan Yanren did not consider Zhao Yan worthy of her and rejected him outright, thereby creating a very strong motivation for Zhao Yan to become stronger, at least for three years. After being rejected, Yao Lao awakened after absorbing Zhao Yan's Du Qi for the past three years through the black ring given to him by his late mother. Yao Lao asked Zhao Yan if he wanted to be his apprentice. After helping Zhao Yan reach the ninth stage, Du Ji, the two left Wu Tan City and went to training at Magic Beast Mountain Range. Yao Lao intends to ascend Zhao Yan from Du Ji to Du Shi. There, he acquired his Purple Beast Flame. Personality In light novel chapter 190, the ruthlessness in his bones would chill people. If you didn't provoke these people, they were fine. Once you did, they would be like a wounded hungry wolf in the desert who stare intently at you waiting for the moment when you become relaxed. In the past, Zhao Yan could leave behind the comfortable life in his clan because of the humiliation caused by Nalan Yanren cancelling the engagement, clench his teeth tightly and battle magic beasts in the mountain range, overcome the loneliness and isolation in the desert while going through tough training for three years. If he could be so cruel towards himself, just imagine how ruthless he is towards his enemies. At Light Novel Chapter 183 At the bottom of Zhao Yan's heart, he had never thought of himself as a good person with a heart of gold. The least thing he could offer was to give some water to an injured stranger in the desert. If someone wished for him to protect and escort them out of the desert, he could only offer his apology. In Light Novel, Chapter 35-36 to Zhao Yan may seem calm and composed, but inside, he deeply enjoys thrilling adventures, has an indomitable will, and even a devil-may-care attitude. Years of wandering have made Zhao Yan's personality as calm as a rock, even in the face of any challenge, he is capable of adjusting himself to the most perfect state. Although he's usually gentle to others, there's a chilling ferocity hiding in his bones that will definitely kill anyone who provokes him. Later on in the light novel, this is demonstrated many times, as evidenced by people who were much stronger than him. When confronted with Zhao Yan, they quickly developed a very cautious and wary nature. If he sees an enemy as a significant obstacle in the future, he has demonstrated a tendency to go to extreme lengths to eliminate them. However, Zhao Yan was not a person who was totally cold-hearted. It was possible for him to be cold-hearted towards his enemies however, to normal people or those who knew him, he was extremely kind. And this personality allowed him to have friends and experts gather around him. 
People like Hai Bodong, Zhao Yi, Shan, Queen Medusa, and even Tian Huo Zhenji all felt this. People who were cold-hearted towards their friends would struggle to get others to treat them genuinely. This point played a role in Zhao Yin's charm. Zhao Yan never reconnected with those who abandoned him in his years of hardship. He was aware that those who became respectful and friendly to him because of his resurrected talent would act like cold strangers when he lost his talent. This kind of backstabbing experiencing it once was enough. Quick, 